Hey, what's going on YouTube? Just making a quick tutorial here of uh, some awesome find I have. Um, this is regarding the hotspot data. If you have Verizon, typically you're limited to about 15 gigs of hotspot. That's fast. After that, you get throttled down to around 500 kilobytes uh, per second, which is relatively slow. Um, you know, can't really do much. Uh, typically for gaming, I mean, the 500 kilobytes is sufficient enough. I can still play, but I do find it's a bit laggy at times. And I mean, when you're limited to just having hotspot and you know, you're out and about, for example, I'm a truck driver, so I'm on the road. I uh, don't have access to a strong hotspot or Wi-Fi, I should say, like I do at my home. So there is a way around this and uh, I discovered so on a computer, so you can bypass the throttle um, by entering uh, this command in the command prompt and uh, essentially what it does is it makes the hotspot think that your computer is running on uh, the standard data from your phone. So it won't throttle it unless you're in like a congested area which I think it's like after 25 gigabytes or something on Ryzen that is, um, then, you know, it's gonna slow it down if you're in a heavy use area, but if not, you know, you'll still get those fast 4G speeds. Now, the way I did this was pretty simple. All you need is your computer if you have a laptop. Um, I've got my Xbox One here set up and I just tested it. So essentially, uh, what you'll need to do is, of course, turn on your hotspot from your phone, which I'm connected to now. And again, as I said, I've already passed my 15 gig limit on my hotspot. Um, so to bypass it, uh, simply go to your command. If I can search that is, command prompt. You want to right click that. Uh, let's try that again. Command prompt, right click, run as admin. Yes. And then you're just going to enter that command right there. It's, uh, hold it right here. If you want to pause it, it's nets int IPv4 set glob default cur hop limit equals 65 just hit okay it'll say okay right there and then your computer will run internet and make your phone hotspot believe that it's just using your standard data like if you would on your phone it won't be throttled after that uh, all the only other thing you're gonna need is an internet ethernet cable which I bought for about four bucks at Walmart I'm in a pretty closed environment here so I don't need a huge cable Again, four bucks, I think it's, uh, yep, seven, seven foot cable. Um, from there, you will simply connect it from the uh, Xbox to your laptop, it's ethernet port, and then you want to get to, not right there. You want to find your network connections uh, after that, you're going to find your wireless connection. Right click on it, go to properties. From properties, you want to go to sharing. Mine's already set like this, but typically this will be unchecked like that. You want to check it off and then make sure it's your whichever one your Ethernet port's on and then just hit OK. It'll then share it. Um, and then you can go over to your Xbox and uh, should be connected. You might need to go into the settings and just to test the connection or whatever. Um, but the way it's working for me right now is usually my download speed would be limited to uh, 500 kilobytes. Um, but as you can see there, it's uh, six, about six uh, megs per second. And I'm downloading an update, which would typically take a lot longer than that says, but you know, I'll be driving so I can just let it be in the meantime. So that's gonna really help a lot. Um, yep, if you guys have any questions, 
feel free to message me or hit the comment section if the video helped you um hit the like button that'd be cool and if you guys want to see more videos go ahead and comment that as well thanks for watching guys